This is the watch which has been losing about 10 minutes every few hours. Um, it's the one I'm going to change the battery on. But it's already had a new battery. So it's probably not the best watch to show, but it's the only watch now that I have to demonstrate. So I'm going to, first of all, take the back off. I'm doing the four screws. One, two, three, four. And then we have a look inside to change the battery. But my point for making this video is not about changing batteries. It's about cleaning where the battery is installed, the connections. Because there's nothing wrong with this watch, really. I think it's a quartz digital watch. The problem we have is that the watch is losing 10 minutes. So I suspect it's, the, um, it's actually the connections that need cleaning with a switch cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just unfortunate that this watch is a little bit more tricky to get to the battery. The carelessness might have ended this glorious mission. We'll reduce two steps in rank for Jonas Bond. To the homeland, another war. If we are the strong, is this not the signal for war? Must it always be so? How many comrades have we lost to this war? Our portion command. Once you've got the back of the watch off, then you can remove this part, which is all to do with the um, wireless. And that isn't the bit that we want to uh, look at. The battery we want for the timepiece is behind. It's there. Right? Obviously, I've taken this battery out. We just need to fit the new battery after we cleaned it. So we have to clean the contacts first. But to be careful not to lose this. This is something that uh, is very easy to lose. You may recognise it. It's usually seen from the front of the face. The other thing not to lose is this little ring. It sits on top here. Right, you want to be able to clean this part. With alcohol, or as I use switch cleaner, so as all the contacts are clean. Now you give it a good clean before fitting the new battery. I fitted the new battery. As you can see, the new battery's in there, and the hands are moving round second hand we are missing the little crown so we need to pop that back in I just put the little crown in right when you've got the little crown in there you now got to put the little circular ring with gives all the lights around the clock face so you've got the pips uppermost and there's like a little gap for the winder or the adjuster. Now you've got to place this more plastic part. In like so. And then you've got to line up a little LED right 
like so. Right, once you have the seal in place, then you can put the back plate back on. And then all we need to have to do then is tighten up the screws. Right, once you have the watch reassembled and uh, looking good, you can then adjust the time. Going to adjust it precisely 6.30. That's now. And we'll check it in an hour's time and see, or even two hours' time, and see if there's any more loss of time. As you can see, the watch is keeping perfect time to the second. Although a lady's watch, I have removed the pin. Probably should have done that earlier before I started. Um, but that was for a good reason. This strap is long enough to go around my wrist. And as it's quite a heavy watch, I think I'll turn it into a man's watch. But the bit that is stopping it to get onto my wrist is that it won't get over my hand. So I need to remove this link here and I think it will just be easy for me to just click it onto my wrist. Now I'll give it a go. See this arrow? That's the direction you've got to knock the pin out. So uh, in this case you go turn it this way and then with a, a hammer and a, a fine tool like this you can just hit it and then just take the pin out the other side which is what I did there well as you can see I've um, adjusted this watch by removing the um, there's a the joining piece that was at the back is gone and uh, I've now got a watch originally for a lady but to be honest it looks quite manly to me so um, I'm going to keep it now and it's keeping good time so uh, that's it you can press a button on it and uh, it lights up the screen as you can see you can see the, the hands and if you press the button you get a nice display, you can have the half at the bottom or you can light it up at the top well, I'm quite happy with that anyway, time to go yeah, oh nearly bedtime good night